Okay, so hi, it's T, and it's time for the Tea with T. So for today's video, I decided I would talk about holding yourself back. So there are like many ways we could go about this, but I'm going to try to keep everything in order. So what came up with this topic is like I've been feeling like unmotivated to like be creative. Like I took a week off because I had a whole bunch of work and my nail broke off. But it's just feel like I'm in this flunk of I don't feel like I'm creative motivated. But then when I do feel these bursts of like being creatively motivated, it's like I'm trying to do a lot at once. And I'm a college student and it's only so many hours in a day. So I decided I wanted to do this video just to like talk about the aspects of holding yourself back. Like for example, I wanted to start a podcast out of nowhere. I was just like, oh, you know, that'd be cool to do. Why not do a podcast? Everyone would be able to see you and you would be able to, like, network yourself a little bit better. And I knew really nothing about starting a podcast. I didn't really look into it because I was like, okay, well, you need a name, you need content, and you need to, you know, if you take on another platform, how would you go about it? And could you handle Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, and possibly a podcast? On Instagram, I run my main account, and I also run a self-care page, which is amazing. On top of that, I also run this YouTube channel where I make content supposed to be moving now into twice a week that's what i'm going to continue to do because i like posting videos they make me happy they bring me joyful that i can't help you and we can talk through this and you can talk and i can talk and we can you know get the conversation rolling however starting a podcast i just felt like it was a stretch like it was unreasonable there wasn't enough time in the day for me to get to that point and another thing about holding yourself back is not being realistic. My YouTube channel is officially now, because of Monday, two years old. And I'm just like, okay, when are we going to get the ball running? When are we going to get, you know, a thousand subscribers, one chase subscribers? And it's only been two years. And I feel like another thing of holding yourself back is rushing the process that's never really spoke about. It's like everything has to be now, now, now. Everything has to move, move, move. And that's just not gonna happen. You can't move as fast as things would like you to. It's a process of things. You can't just hop up and be a YouTuber and then a week later you have a thousand subscribers. That's unrealistic for me, no matter how much I would like to be in that position right now. I am a college student. I have homework to do, so I might not be able to do two videos a week like I would like to do. I feel like another part of like holding yourself back is not just, you know, your unrealistic goal points, it's being stagnant. Like you just get comfortable with the position that you're in and you're just like, okay, I mean, what's wrong with my position? I'm doing just fine. Like I'm whatever the situation may be, it might be money, it might be career wise, you're just content. And as a person, you can't become stagnant. You have to, I don't want to say like constantly growing because then it sounds like I'm rushing you to grow as a person. But yeah, because I can't think of another way to word it. As a person, you should be improving. You should be taking on new opportunities, setting new goals, becoming a better person with more experiences. If you're just being stagnant, you're not going to learn that, you know, different cultures and different aspects of your life. You never know when one experience could take you into a whole nother career field that you didn't even know you were into. Like, as a society, sorry, we hold ourselves back from a lot of things. Because we see someone else doing what we probably want to do, and they've already accomplished it, we're just like, so when is my time? Like, why am I not like such and such? And holding yourself back is partly comparing yourself like if someone has a house how come i don't have a house if they have money how come i don't have money not even on jealousy because i mean it could be taken that way but it's just like 
because things are not happening for you now, that does not mean they won't happen to you in the future. Everyone is going to have their time to be successful. It just won't be osmosisly when you want it. You have to be honest with yourself. And I feel like I had a hard time taking on that role of just accepting I can't do everything I want to do all the time. I can't run 300 things at one time. At least without planning it and organizing it. Because either way, school is going to come first. First and foremost, secure the degree, secure the bag. And also, you have to secure, like, yourself. You can't... You can't change yourself because you want to be something else. Like, I'm not going to change my personality. I'm not going to get, you know, a $300 editing system just so I can become YouTube famous. That's not going to happen. That's unrealistic right now. Holding yourself back, it isn't, oh, well, this person is being toxic or I have a bad friend or this person is holding me back. In some cases, yes, but in this situation... The situations I'm talking about, you have control over. You have control over the way you act, not how somebody treats you. You have to take full responsibility for your own actions. Like, because you feel like you're not going somewhere, then change your course of action. Change the way you handle things. If you want to pay an internship and a job, go right at it. It's resources everywhere, not just for college students, but just in general. It's a Google search away. You can't start going to what are those things called auditions i don't know why like that took me forever that should be like the first word i know i like theater so duh anyways so i took this modeling audition never done modeling before but i was like oh modeling acting that'd be cool they took my headshot and nothing happened from it but that's okay like not every time you do something is going to be a hit everything is going to be a hit or miss and you're just going to have to accept that with the flow you can't just hold yourself back because you feel like stuff is not going to happen. Things are going to happen at the best of times. The best of times might not be right now. It might not be next week. It might not be next year. It might take you three, four, a decade. And that's fine. As long as you are making... Sorry. As long as you are making moves to get to your goals, you shouldn't be worried about holding yourself back like you're gonna get there when I thought about my YouTube channel in a two-year-old sense I'm like I mean we did do a lot of good things I switched my content over from just doing doll videos to now I'm doing girl talks now I'm doing thrift hauls and that's great for me I feel happy to do it not that I've outgrown dolls but it's easier for me to make YouTube content and come up with ideas because I'm being my genuine full round self and not just one aspect of Tiana. That's not me being authentic. And that's one thing holding yourself back does. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Being in college is hard. Like, ridiculously hard. It's you and a thousand other people. Just imagine that, basically. Who could do the same things as you or have the same likes as you or can do the same thing you do but better? And that got in my head because I'm just like, I mean, I know I'm good. I know I can write. I know I'm good at theater. Not on a cocky way, but just in a like, I feel comfortable doing these things. But at the same time, I was like, okay, it's you and a thousand other people. So what makes you stand out? And I'm just like, I mean, I stand out in a way like, I didn't really have a real clear definition and to this day I still to some extent feel like I have a clear understanding but not so much a clear understanding that's an oxymoron dang it anyways you have to understand that things take time and planning and attention you can't just you know wake up with a thousand subscribers or just be amazing at whatever career or field you want to go into and you have to accept that and I hope that my Girl Talk videos are helping you and that, you know, we can talk about things and we can get more into depth and get, you know, on a better level. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I kind of went all around the world, but I didn't want to drag this video out so long. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!